Hello, Internet it is Adam Malik here and Aaron. Back here with another video on the Xbox 360. Yeah, I might need to change this camera a bit. Alright, that's better. It's a mystery. It's the last time we did Spider-Man Web of Shadow. It's a game that I really, really liked. Although some of the stuff is a bit difficult. So just guess what this is. Please guess. Why should this is too loud? I don't want to blow everybody's eardrums out. Is it a memory unit? Yep. We're doing this. This abomination. Resident Evil 6, the game that nearly destroyed the entire series. And, you know, because the Resident Evil series was usually known for horror. But then they decided, let's make it more action-y. And while it worked, well, it somewhat worked for Resident Evil 5, although not a whole lot of people liked that game because it was changing, basically changing genre. Is is still sold a lot of copies, so they went the same route with Resident Evil Six, and while this one also did sell a lot of copies, it got a harsh reaction from fans, and it, the series kind of it almost got it, but Resident Evil Seven saved it, and now and now we're gonna get the Resident Evil Two remake, so. This is considered by many to be the low point of the series. At least the low main point of the series. At the main entry. Not counting spin-offs like Operation Raccoon City. I actually remember playing Operation Raccoon City. That game was just the worst. So this actually has two discs. I got rid of the second disc because it was unnecessary. I was like, what's the point? Look at our options. There's nothing much here. Uh, you got credits, records, access to the marketplace, blah blah blah. Play game. So you got campaign, dog tags, and extra content. What is extra content? Oh, it's just like basically a, like one of those uh, modes where you just like be up all enemies. And you can join another player's game. Oh, fine. We, no one's playing this game except me. So, I'm gonna be alone. The campaign. Oh boy. So, this campaign, this campaign, this campaign. This, one of the problems with this game is that it tried to be so big that it ultimately collapsed in on itself. Because you have four campaigns, not just one, four. You got Leon, Chris, Jake, Nada. The one that's the most Resident Evil when everyone talks about this game is Leon. Then Chris, Jake. Jake's, I think Jake's a new character. He may have been in another game, but I don't remember. But I know Chris, he was in Resident Evil. 1 and Resident Evil 5. So I don't know which one to do. I don't know if I should continue because I might be at the point of the story where I literally have no idea. Data for chapter in progress will be long. Oh. Screw it, let's continue. From the last time I played this game, which was like a year ago. Yes, we're on chapter two in Leon. We're in the Forest Cemetery. All right, let's just do it. See, that was like a year ago. It's crazy. Normal. No, no split screen. All right. I think we're good. So let's start. Let's start this waste of a game. So help a dying party. You can press B to revive them or R B for you know basically to give them a health tablet. Okay. Let's 
Movies. Movie. Oh. Helena. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. This game is rated M. Yeah. If you don't like Are you okay? Yeah. Game is rated M. If you don't like got blood and cursing, well, I apologize. Besides, this isn't the first Resident Evil game I've done on this channel. I did Resident Evil 4, and I recently did the 2002 remaster of Resident Evil. And I have no ammo. That's no good. So, gotta find some... Who was a bird? Uh... Usually in these types of games, there's like ammo in the most random places, which is kind of dumb. I really should have thought better. Oh! How about that for a jump scare? Did he try to bulldog a zombie into the water? So now you can you can think like you're Bruce Lee. <laughs> what are you doing? Use the shovel. That would be very useful, but apparently not. So we gotta go this way. In this type of game, it's just like you're supposed to be like, oh, you gotta go this way. But first, I'm like, nah, I'm trying to beat this game as fast as possible because I don't want to play it anymore. So we gotta go this way. Oh! Zombie! Come on. I shot him right in the head. Man, that's some great animation. Keep shooting it! I shot it in the head! Come on now! No selling death. Oh, look at that reversal! At least there's some things about this game that are actually good. You know, some of the combat is kind of fun, but the rest of it is no. Not fun. Where are we going? There was a sign. We were right here. And the path is that way. Right? Well, this is like a more direct route to the path that we're supposed to go. Supposed to, you know, go to. Right? Just paused. <laughs> okay. Let's check. You can check all or you can restart the game, you can change the settings, and the session, you can skills, but uh, people are resuming. We gotta check. I might need Oh! Whoa, 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 hold on a second. Came out of nowhere. Kick that dog. Dead? Okay, good. And when they die, they just kind of dissolve into full black goo and stuff, which is kind of weird. Now I can finally use an herb! Oh my gosh! What the heck, man? These zombies are the worst. It hit me when I least expected. Alright, uh... Alright, boom. Why do zombies always have to come when I'm trying to get help? That's it. Okay, you killed him, he's dead. Wait, shouldn't they have like ammo or something? I'll pop some tablets. Time to enter the gate or something. Damn, it's locked. Oh well, that sucks. Come on, we'll figure something out. Maybe there's a key. These zombies straight up no cell, death. They no cell gunshots to the head. It's fine if you want to have difficulty, but you can just don't just be unforgiving in the game. Don't be like Deadpool, because 
the Deadpool, the game's fun, albeit very repetitive, but the, I'm trying to beat it, but it's so unforgiving in its difficulty that I don't know if I can beat it. A grenade! Finally, something useful. It's an incinerary grenade, which basically, if you throw it, everything's gonna light on fire. Roger. Alright. Gosh, hurry up! Where's she going? She's just like stuck there. Come on, it's not hard. Finally, it took you like a good minute <laughs> to come over here. I don't know what she was doing. Oh! What's in here? Ammo! Anything else? Well, there's a d Oh, well. I thought I woke up for a second. That's. Oh! Hello. Got him. We'll fight. Kung Fu skills. Yeah. Take that. But you can't use Kung Fu skills all the time because it kind of, you know, drains stamina or something. So don't do it all the time. But do get ammo. Unlike in Res Resident Evil 7, like, I'm trying to beat that game, but you really need to conserve your ammo supply, because that's very important. Because that game is pretty hard without it. Oh, that dog has the key! We gotta get it! Well, she got a good point. We must run. I don't know why the camera must do this. Be all shaky. A dog! It's not the dog, we're looking. Kill! Sorry, but you gotta go. Oh! Take this dog. Take these kicks! Mm. Take that. Ah, oh, lit. We got some skill points. They probably won't mean much, but something. More skill points. I think he used it to upgrade things, maybe. <laughs> Crud, these dogs won't stop. Oh, what's that dog doing? Oh, you need help. Yeah, like that type of stuff is used. It's kind of cool. Like you're just beating up zombies instead of shooting them. Although it's kind of dumb, it still looks. I would rather not get into that personally because that will only lead to bad things. Dog! You will give me the key! Die! It's not dead yet! Where'd it go? Crud, it ran away! Oh no, zombie's gonna get me. And a dog. Beat up this fool. Yeah. Don't know why you would drop the shovel. Makes no sense. Oh, oh, these dogs are everywhere. There it is! It's the dog we're looking for. Oh, we gotta help her. Okay. I'm the worst aimer in history. <laughs> well, we got you gotta follow the dog. Sorry, partner, but the dog's more important. It's, it's a bigger priority. Oh no, I dropped again. Crud. Okay, we gotta find this dog and get the key and then we can progress to the start. Alright, dog. But don't I have a grenade? Oh yeah, I do. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do! Crud. I got- I forgot what the controls are. That's no good. Oh! You wanna fight? Beat it up some- beat it up. It's dead! You get the key! Crud, they're everywhere. Oh. Oh no, I didn't make it! Oh. Get the key. 
All right, well, we can go. Crud. Oh, look at that double team. Screw fighting these things. We gotta go. We gotta continue the story. I don't care, but we gotta continue. Well, we gotta pop some tablets first before we do anything else. Ugh. Honestly, we should have done the opening level of the game. That's honestly one of the... That was one of the best parts of the entire game. Although it... It looked so much like a Michael Bay movie. In the worst possible way. With a bunch of explosions and just stuff happening for the sake of it happening. No tension. No anything. It's just action for the sake of action. Oh, come on, I shot it in the face. Come on, game. Throw me a bone. Kick that dog into the grave. Oh. <laughs> they, just, they just flopped. Hilarious. And a curb stomp. Gotta get him. What was he doing? He just, just shot him right, tried to shoot him in the back. Okay, he's dead. We're good. Get some skill points. Come on, we killed a bunch of these dogs before. This isn't as hard. Oh, I thought I shot him. Honey, I'm here. The worst hero ever. I kicked too high. That's the problem. These dogs just don't want to stop. That might have been like a nope. Ugh, these dogs are the worst. Okay, it's dead. Good. Get us some shells for like a shotgun we don't have. Sorry, honey, but... We gotta stick with the plan. Uh, tch, 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 tch. there it is. Now I can finally advance into uh, the plot a little bit more. Okay. Okay, we're in. Oh my gosh, it's gonna take a good year to get over here. Okay, maybe not. She's coming here pretty fast. There she is. Oh, oh, well. No, you cannot no sell that. So we gotta reunite with my partner. Where is she? She could just jump down here. Like, it's not that hard. Zombie just shot it right in the neck. There it is. Now it's dead. Who else is out there? Oh, no. Time to use my matrix moves. Uh oh. I'm in a bad I'm in a bad place right now. Oh. I'm His arm just like it's almost like it went through the ground. That's funny. Yeah, I think we're done with this part. Cause like you don't really need to go on from there. Because it's probably going to end the same. <laughs> well, that's like what Leon's campaign is. At least what it's like. But let's play the, um... Oh, that's not what I wanted. I don't care about dog tags. I didn't even do anything! <laughs> I guess it's just like, you get an uh, achievement for clicking on this since no one else wants to. <laughs> Let's just do the prelude. What happens before the actual game starts, because it is pretty interesting. RE.net, no one's on that. I'm just being really honest. This game got like 2012. Yeah, no one's on that anymore. 
This game is its loading screens are not the best. Capcom presents the death of a franchise. I'm trying to skip this, but I can't. Okay, I did. Good. Because, you know, it's just like a bunch of... Nothing interesting. So... As you see right here, there's a bunch of chaos. Zombies everywhere. People getting shot. Fire everywhere. Come on, honey. We gotta... Leave it to Otto. What's Otto gonna do? What's that? It looks like some Japanese film. Where am I looking at? You can't really go that way. Trump. So we're trying to go towards this little shelter, right? But this helicopter is right there. Really? You think that's gonna save you? Come on. Let's just be a tad more realistic. There's Leon and her. I think that's Jill, if I'm not mistaken. Or someone else. I don't really know my Resident Evil lore. I'm sorry, but I just don't. <laughs> I'm not that into it, especially considering I never played Resident Evil 2 or 3. Come on. I'll probably get the remake just, you know, because it's probably better. Resident Evil 3, I've seen it sometimes, but I never bought it because it's kind of... Oh, well, there you go. I want to slow you down. Just go. Wait for the author- oh wait, the authorities are probably just trying to kill all the zombies. You're not getting off that easy. Come on. Ugh, don't you just hate this cliche? It's just like, I'll never leave you because you're important. <laughs> Ugh. Looking around. Come on, we gotta go. After all we've been through, it'd be a waste to give up now. We don't even know all you went through, like... I noticed... This timeline's so jumbled. Is there an explanation point? Is this trying to be Metal Gear Solid? Because if that's true, then shame on you. Oh, come on. Oh, botched it. There we go. One more. And we broke it! Hooray! We did a thing. Looking around. Uh oh. It's the helicopter again. Well, someone's dead over there. Let's try this way. All the dead bodies. Mm, this is not gonna get monetized. <laughs> Where are we going? I forgot. Oh, we're going this way, I think. Some of you are probably like, where's the action? Or the, you know, the Resident Evil-ness. Well, in the beginning, there's not much of it, because this is the beginning portion. This is what happens when you, this is the level you play when you start the game. That's why it's the prelude. All right, now it's gonna be a do thing. Kids here somewhere. We gotta find a healing item. Maybe it's over here. Or it's right here. Okay, we 
can't go that way. When there's a heel on island, it's usually green because that's how it works. It makes me sick seeing good soldiers die like this. Well, this is Resident Evil. People die all the time. There it is. An herb. Because that's how it works. Too many good agents have died here today. And you're not going to be one. You're not going to get into that list. Yeah, because they're important ish. <sighs> Zombie! Leon, don't be surprised. You you fought zombies. Well, last Resident Evil 4, you just fought, fought a whole bunch of crazy people. Zombies, you're not, you know, you're used to this. Aim at his face. Oh. It's more or less quick time events. Like you do them all right. You succeed, and I'm sorry you had this evening. Well, we killed a zombie. He's like, this is like the first zombie he's ever killed. Or right, now we can officially heal her after that false start. That's not how it works. Thank you. <laughs> uh, she just rubbed some stuff on her wrist and like, you're okay. I'm pretty sure it takes a bit more than that, but it's video game, so we gotta dis gotta suspend our belief. Just you know, suspend our disbelief a little bit. Alright, time to go and fight. I've sent over the field guide to your PDA. You can always refer to that in a pinch. Alright. So. So we gotta go this way. And I really should be. Whoa. The game kind of. Go. Oh, whoa. What the hell? Someone blew up something. Oh my gosh, she was the- Oh my gosh! That's the worst AI I've ever seen. And people thought the AI in Resident Evil 5, your partner, was horrible. Well, that's just as bad, if not worse. Well, we're in Raccoon City. Or at least Raccoon City-esque situation. Yes, just keep in that direction. Time to jump. And no sell the fact that we just jumped off a building. <laughs> now I just, now this is useful. Oh, I almost shot her in the head. That sucks. Just quick shot everything. Uh oh, gate is busted. Oh man, I'm not doing so hot. <laughs> Gotta change our weapons. What would be the a shotgun would be the most useful in this situation? So dark, you can't see anything. That's a problem. Ugh. 
They all dead yet. Boom. Quick shot. And, well, we gotta go. We gotta go this way. We gotta go. Crap. Oh. That's no good. <laughs> There's no more road. So we gotta go another way. And explosions! Because this is clearly Michael Bay. Clearly. This was inspired by a Michael Bay film. This is more or less Michael Bay's victory. <laughs> what he wants in his movies. Hey! Bud. Just, just, just run, jump, boom, deep. Oh my gosh, just kick right to the fiery abyss. There he goes. And you think we're safe? It's over, right? That's what you think. But no, nah, nope. The bad things just have to continue. Our the pilot's dead. So... And now he's a zombie. Throw him out just in case he turns into a zombie. No, he's a zombie. Throw him out now. <laughs> Botched it! Oh, that was wonderful. Botched it again! There we go, we shot him this time. Oh, yeah, shoot him again. Got him. There he goes. Oh crud. Ooh, that was last minute. <laughs> Elena, you need to sit down, because this Oh the Helicopter hit a train. And the train somehow didn't explode. Oh, this is no good. And there we go. To our death. Thing's gonna drop. It would've been hilarious if I did absolutely nothing. That would've been amazing. You alright? Yeah. All right. The next part. Boom. Of course it doesn't. This is the Resident Evil. Just gonna no soul all the damage you've done. Just a no soul, no soul, any of that. Okay. Whatever. That's what you wanna do, game. I believe that should be it. Yeah, that's it. That's how the game starts. So I hope you all enjoyed that trip down memory lane, as in memories you'd rather not go back to, <laughs> with Resident Evil 6. Hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, and I don't know what the next gameplay will be. I don't know when it's going to be, but hopefully soon. And I am out.